Hello and welcome to this edition of Tips and Tricks. Now today, obviously by the thumbnail and the title, I am going to be talking about the best hooks and hook brands to use for all of your fishing techniques and lures. Now I've been fishing for about 40 years for bass. And trust me, in the beginning, when I was younger, yeah, I took the, uh, you know, I, I took the cheap route a lot. I took the cheap route on like everything, like topwater lures, crankbaits, spinnerbaits, even even the regular hooks that I used, just for you know my worms and stuff, my plastic worms, just the hook itself. And well, I learned that yeah, you yeah, saved a little money, but you also lost fish. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just when you go, I, I'm telling you the the, the one thing. In any lure that they cut back on to make it cheaper is usually the hooks. Okay, so I'm gonna go over like all the different stuff, spinnerbaits, buzzbaits, jigs, underspins, crankbait, all that stuff. But I'm gonna start out with just the hook. The hook you use when you rig your plastics, your worms, your, your creature baits, your crawdads, anything that you rig with a plastic with just a hook. And my go-to brand is Gamagatsu, the EUG, the Wide Gap. Even if I go to like the little round bend, either way, it's Gammy. I, I've used Mustad, I've used, you know, Owners, I've used Troker, I've used... I just think this is the best hook. It's the strongest, it stays the sharpest, the angle of it, the hook sets for me are better. But that's what I'm actually starting out with, is just the regular hook, the one you use. And I do from 3-aught to 5-aught. Those, I, I don't usually, unless it's something teeny, but usually for something teeny, I'm using some other technique that I'm not using just a regular hook. So that's the starter, just your hook for your plastics. I go with Gammy, I go with the EUG, the Wide Gap. Then the next hook is drop shot hooks. I don't actually do Texas rig on a drop shot. I don't use any of these or these on a drop shot. All my drop shots are strictly just the little the little drop shot hook. There's actually none in here, but my best hook I've found is the mosquito hook number two. Right there. Mosquito hook number two. Everybody says a smaller hook for when you're just using a hook like that, but I, I don't know. I've just found that the number two is the best. And I've used Gammy, I've used uh, like Mustad, other brand like drop shot style hooks, but the mosquito hook just works the best. It gives me the the best hookup ratio. I lose less fish. Yeah, I don't, and I hook it up not all the way through. I hook it half and in, so it's sort of weedless to begin with. That's why I don't put up Texas. And I think when you hook up a, a longer hook on that, I think it takes away from the action of what a drop shot was originally meant to mimic and the action of it. But there you go, guys. The number two. Like I said I've gone to the number four owner, and I miss more fish. A lot more of them get off. People think the number two is a little bit too big. It is does look a little bit big when you hook on a worm with it, but I'm telling you, the hookup ratio and the ratio of fish you get to the boat is much higher with the owner mosquito, mosquito hook, number two. Okay, so that sort of takes care of, well, just plain hooks. Hooks that, you know, you want to buy that are just the hook and you know the brand. Don't, don't buy the generics, guys. So... Like I said, the one thing they go cheap on, and maybe you get store brands like Walmart or other places, don't ever buy them. They're cheap. And so, well, here's, here's the next one I'm going to work to, which is crankbaits or topwater or jerkbaits. You know, things that you can actually change the hook on because they're on with a split ring. And my go-to is a triple grip Mustad because I know a lot, a lot of the younger influencers with fishing shows are always talking about getting cheap lures and cheap crankbaits and cheap top waters and stuff and the bait itself might work really well the crankbait might work but trust me they're gonna have generic hooks on them and the hooks are probably gonna be really bad they're not gonna stay sharp they're gonna bend out so you might get away with a cheaper crankbait or jerkbait or top water bait but replace the hooks I mean I've used Gamagatsu too but I just like these triple grip Mustads got the hook it's bent in I mean KVD does these a lot on a lot of his cranks have the KVD triple grip on them 
But yeah, see, that's the good thing about these type of lures, especially when you buy cheaper generic ones. Um, unless they say that they have a name brand hook on them and it says premium, it's a generic hook, guys. It's not. If they're going to put a Gamagatsu or a Mustad or a Owner or quality hook on it, it's going to say it on the packaging. It's going to say what hook it has. Or in if you order them online, if it just says premium round bed or premium black nick, it's a generic hook and it's probably not the best. Okay, so there we are on, on hooks that you can buy that you you know what hook and things you can buy that are cheaper that you can replace the hook on. Now I'm going to get into all the other stuff. All the stuff like your buzz baits, your spinner baits. Uh, these I make my own, so that's why these are like this. But everything that I have, jigs from football jigs to swim jigs to underspins to uh, flick'em jig heads, all that stuff, all of mine have must add ultra point or needle point hooks. And like I said, when you're, when you're looking at things and you're buying them, like if you're not like me and you're not buying them to make them and assemble them, you need to look at what hooks they have on them. I said from jigs to uh, you know shaky head style, anything like that. When you're buying them, if it says premium hook, don't buy it. Buy buy another brand because most of the brands will say that they have a Gamagatsu hook on them, or they have an Ultra Point Mustad hook on them, or they have a Troker hook on them, or a VMC hook. If they're a quality brand and they're putting a quality hook on it, they're going to tell you it's a quality hook. Now, like I was saying earlier, and this is this is a really this is a really fun one here because you you get a lot of that stuff. And I said when I was younger, yeah, I, I fell for this. I was like, well, pff, I'm going to pay eight bucks for a spinner bait when I can buy one for three. It's a double willow leaf. It's got a great skirt on it. I'm sure it's great. Yeah, well, well, when you get the spinner baits, uh, there's some other problems too. Usually the wires bend out kind of easy in that. But I'm telling you that the, <laughs> the where they cut cost is the hook. Even some of the better brands actually have hooks on them that are very low quality. If you watch my shows enough, you'll, he <laughs> you'll hear me complain about the Ned Rig and it's Plato hooks. Because those things, I barely even pull on them. It comes out, but it's straight. And I'll bend it back and a lot of times the hook point is actually turned back around and it looks like a little U on the end of the, and I'm like, even mine, I, I do Ned style heads and that, but there must add hooks on them. I even had some where the hook point broke off. And yeah, I came in and I'm like, oh, it's bent. I bent it back a little bit. And then I looked and went, oh my God, the tips broke. And the tip actually broke off. But why, why I picked up this one, and I've been saving this for a tips and tricks about hooks. This is one one of my friends gave me. And he wanted, you know, because I do the flicking, he wanted to try the flicking. So he went out and got some of these little flicking jig heads. Well, I had broke mine off. I broke my last one off. And he goes, oh, I have some. And so he handed this to me, and it was bent out a little bit. And I'm like, oh, it's, it's bent out. He goes, oh, oh, yeah, oh, sorry, here, here's one. I'm like, no, 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 I can just bend it back. Well, <laughs> I went to bend it, and I was like, what? So, so I'm going to show it to you guys. Um, look at this hook. This is, I, I forget where he got this. It was generic, either like, I don't know, like Big Five or Walmart or, or Target or something. But look at this hook, guys. And this is what I'm talking about. It, it, people are like, oh, it's the same thing. It's a flick of them. This is only $1.99 compared to $4.99. And you get more. Look at this hook. <laughs> look at the hook. Look at that thing. I mean, it, it's like it's made out of aluminum. That's how easy it is to bend it. <laughs> I was like, I'm like... What? Where did you get these? They already, yeah, that, that is insane, guys. I mean, they're actually selling this as a fishing hook. What, what would stay hooked on that? So yeah, that's that's why I'm kind of ending with this because that's what I'm telling you about some jig brands you can buy, uh, underspin sort of things, shaky head, even up to your buzz baits and spinner baits is. Yeah, I mean, I've never seen one that bad, but a lot of them will either bend out kind of easy or the tip will break where on the sharpen or they rust like crap, like within a couple days when you put them in the tight and you bring it in, you're like, it's all rusty. 
what the heck that's because it's a cheap premium generic hook so that's why i want to come on and say that what brands i use what brands i trust over 40 years ones that last ones that don't break and like i said most most of that stuff if you guys are buying them you know assembled check the hook because even some name brands still just say premium hook and unless it's on a crankbait or something that's split ringed on it where you can change the hooks you're stuck with that hook all right i uh I think it went over everything. I hope this helps you guys. And I really hope you don't end up buying something that's generic and it's this bad. All right, until the next tips and tricks. This is hilarious. <laughs>